It's gonna be okay. Are you ready? No. So you wanna go home? No. All right, y'all. Here we go inside. Hey, girl. You all right? No. It's <laughs> She was, she was like, hold on, can we take a, uh, what you were saying? Like, can we? She was like, no. She said, the way you're, you gotta shave this way, this way, I gotta go downwards. Down. I used to watch a video, I said shave the uh, opposite direction where your hair go. So when I'm supposed to shave down, I shave up. That's, That's what my rule was causing. See, you shave and then, it up. And then, if she said go this way, I would go the opposite way. It says go the opposite way of the grain. And it was by medical professionals that said that. with another video yo they driving crazy out here all right size what so today um first of all i'm taking my nails off so don't judge me second of all um uh, it's quite a few of y'all that have been with us ever since the beginning of the journey of riley getting her first wax so long story short i'm gonna just give y'all a synopsis over it because you know um we explained it somewhat so I didn't know Riley was not able to shave. Like some girls, like when you uh, start to hit like puberty and stuff like that, your hormones do a lot and just skin conditions, anything. Sometimes if you shave, it causes you to have like bumps and stuff like that. So Riley was having issues with like razor bumps and stuff like that. So we started doing the waxes. Now the waxes were helping. Not to say that you shouldn't get waxed. It just was best for you um because we were trying to combat the ingrown hairs and if you don't know what an ingrown hair is it's basically when you get like wax or shave or you get rid of that hair and when it grows back it doesn't come through the pore it comes it stops and it curls back under and it makes really big like it could it could get really bad it could get you know it could turn into a medical emergency and so it got to the point to where um it's been almost a year that we've been dealing with this. Um, a couple weeks ago, I ended up just saying, okay, well, the waxes are kind of helping, but then not. I took her to a specialist, a dermatologist, and they told her what, from what it looks like, she was starting to develop this symptom called, I can't even pronounce it. I'm going to put it up there. And pretty much when you get an ingrown hair, you know, like sometimes you might get a bump and it goes away. But with those, anything can trigger it to where it'll bruise. So you have to think about girls, guys, anything. When you get an ingrown hair, because a lot of men get it on their face and their neck and under their arms. If you've never had an ingrown hair, thank God, because that can be very, very painful. So pretty much they said that's what she was starting to develop. And the lady going to try to tell her she could start out with some medication. And she was like, ultimately, it's um, high blood pressure medicine. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I just was staring at the lady like what so she was like or or you could start with something because she said it was gonna be a long-term thing i said so you mean like lifelong she was like yeah we need to start looking at it long term i said oh i don't know about that y'all stop trusting these doctors just to give y'all any type of medicines because they will give you whatever you are willing to accept so she said well we could try something that's like a topical something to put on top of her skin okay cool she gave us this medicine, put it on top of it, y'all. It it helped so much. It took the ingrown away because when you get laser treatment, you can't have an active ingrown. Otherwise, it'll make it worse. The ingrown, they laid down, they went flat. So they did say the best treatment option for her would be laser. I'm headed to get her right now, probably like seven, eight minutes away. I'm headed to get her right now. Then we gotta drive almost an hour away for them to go out there now. We don't know like if it's gonna hurt because we asked you know different people we done looked up videos some people say it's like a popping like a like a constant rubber band and i asked the lady well how long is the procedure she said about 30 minutes so she said she feels like it doesn't hurt as bad as waxing but then again waxing is like quick you know what i'm saying so this is like a 30 minute process they say you can get numbing cream um so hopefully she'll be able to do that we'll see she is a little nervous Okay, y'all, so we had to reschedule. We had to... 
we had to schedule the appointment because we was gonna be so late and the traffic was bad. So we just came to get our toes done. So yeah. Hey y'all, I'm just now waking up. Oh my throat hurt. Is this one more? It's off. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm just getting up. Oh, I'm I need to get my laser appointment. I really hope this don't hurt because I just don't want this to hurt. So. Then I read those pages you love. Okay. I'm trying to. So you said you don't care about my feelings. Okay, y'all. So I am getting ready right now. Um, I'm doing my hair. It looks a little flat because I added a whole bunch of water to it. So I don't know what this pay, like this piece is doing right here. So when all my hair does that, I, I always like tease it because this piece just don't stop because it's like damaged a little bit. So it's not going to, um, yeah. And then I have these front pieces. So let me tease that. Don't look at my armpits. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of edges even though I don't want to, because every time I do it, they don't stay. So I got this gummy professional hair gel, Maximum Hold. I have never used this on my edge before, so we're gonna try it. Wow. Okay, hopefully that stays. Hold on, mom. Doing my gauges. All right, I'm gonna let y'all get back to y'all video. But first, do not forget about our shoe vendor, you guys. Let me tell you, I know y'all been sending me emails. I don't sell the shoes. I'm just giving y'all access to the vendor that sells me authentic Nike Dunks. Riley ain't even wore these yet, y'all. I be buying her so many shoes, she ain't even worn them yet. Oh yeah, don't forget. They got new balances too. Okay. And them, you know, them new balances is expensive. So tell your parents to tell their friends, to tell your mama, to tell your sister, to tell your cousin. Get that Nike and new balance shoe vendor. Link is in my bio. Right at the top of our YouTube channel. Or you can go to www.palinandriley.net. That's www.palinandriley.net. Go get them shoes, y'all. do this one down here first I need some pimple patches I asked my mom if we can go buy some because these pimples on my face they go cut it for tomorrow like I know we're just gonna pay attention to this side this, this side is what's really good I'm not gonna look at this one. This just like a straight line going across my forehead. We'll just do one big edge on this side. And we're gonna do one big edge on this side. Yep. It's just gonna work. Do a little bit of mascara. I hope this doesn't hurt though. I hope this um this little laser thing don't hurt because Ooh, I'm like, I don't like getting down there, like, touched or anything, so I hate waxes, so this is anything compared to wax. I'm gonna crash out. Hopefully, um, it's okay. 
And I'm gonna get the numbing stuff. So it won't hurt. While I'm almost ready. I like having this little clump piece up here. So it looks like I have like um, wings in my eyebrows. Like little. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks cute to me. So it looks like my eyes are actually like. Do this really clumpy one. I put some deodorant on and then, and then I'm ready to go. This piece right here is gonna aggravate myself. Oh my god. Some deodorant, because who's gonna be smelling like tin cans? Said her heart is pounding out of her butt. It's gonna be okay. Are you ready? No. So you wanna go home? No. All right, y'all. Here we go inside. Riley's nervous. I don't know why she's so nervous. It's not supposed to hurt like a wax. They said it's not supposed to hurt like a wax. So they, we finally got through so she can get this numbing cream. Thank the Lord. So hopefully that works. We'll see. This is what it looks like. I was like, hey girl, you all right? No. You scared? <laughs> I can see your toes. Your toes look nice. Look at them toes, y'all. She had them toes done yesterday. Them toes look good. <laughs> well, I couldn't see the big toe. Okay. I'm going to see the big toe. Like like, y'all see my glasses? These are the glasses that I have to wear. This your first. The numbing cream may really help, so don't worry about it. Today, numbing you at the other place, so that's gonna, it's gonna make a difference, but you're gonna know we do it. So Riley has glasses. Um, I have to wear these glasses. We all have to wear glasses in here before we start. It's really hot, and I was like, oh. It was just, it was like, we can keep it gangster, we can keep it cordial. Wait, what? We can keep it gangster, we can keep it cordial. How you gonna go about it? That's a little dump down. Mama, I'm getting a little dump down. You see it? So Riley's doing her first treatment. What's your, what's your take on it, honey? It didn't hurt. <laughs> y'all, y'all saw me how I was with the mice. I was like, it didn't hurt. Like, it was like a continuous, like a... Like they said, like a rubber band. Did it really feel like a rubber band popping though? Mm, a little bit worse. Like maybe like them, them tan rubber bands. Tan ones, they be hurting sometimes when they pop. It's like you popped, but you didn't stretch it all the way. Basically, it was like a little, t like that. But they mm -hmm. did put the, they did. Mama said she might do it. I think you should. But them lips. So I yeah, like we might have to wax those, cause. But you could do waxes at home though. They threw them like a what would you call it? Like a. A curveball when we got in there because we thought they was doing the whole thing, but she was like, Oh no, that's gonna be painful. And I was like, Oh, so oh, let me say we're not gonna be, you know, too descriptive of what she got done, but just tell them. I mean, it's not like I ain't get the inside of my crotch, guys. Yeah, no. Um, hopefully, I mean, so overall, what would you, what would you like? What was your it was experience? fine, like yeah. it was so quick. Like, I feel like we would have been left if I didn't get the numbing stuff, yeah. But how do you think it would have felt if you didn't get the numbing cream? I feel like it would have felt the same because that felt like she was. She was like, "Hold on, can we take a uh, what you were saying?" Like, can a break. We... She was like, "No," because I'm gonna lose my place. She was like, "No, we're gonna just go ahead and finish it and knock it out and boom, boom, boom." And we're sitting there with the shades on. And she said she's done her entire body. That lady has done her entire body. She has no hair on we her We're doing body. armpits next, y'all. Hold on. We are not doing armpits. Y'all, she still got four. You, But you can get a laser at home, though. Like, the little ones, like, the regular ones. I know like, some of the maintenance ones. Now, yeah. I might do that. I might get one. I'm going to buy one off of Amazon when I get my money. I have $10 in my account. Don't you get an at-home laser. So, at-home laser. So, and also, something we learned was, you know, if you, like, shave, 
so what she did was of course because we're not medical professionals when she looked at it she could tell riley had been shaving in the wrong direction so she showed like your if your hair is growing a certain way but you don't know that and she, you shaved and when, it, after she shaved it i could see it was so like smooth and clear i was like when i she shaved was, it didn't look like that right because the she was shaving in the direction of where your hair was growing and i guess so if i shaved the right way I, none of this would have been a problem yeah because she's all your fault you bought me the razor but I didn't know it was. A, I've never had issues to where if I'm shaving. I know you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never had issues with like razors. So for if I could shave my. You could, but we just gonna wait. We gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait after all the treatments. Cause she said the way you're, you gotta shave this way, this way, and, and then go straight downwards. Down. Straight yeah. Down. yeah, yeah. This way. Cause I used way. to shave. Cause um, like on video, I used to watch video. I said shave the uh, opposite direction where your hair go. So when I'm supposed to shave down, I shave up. That's, That's what probably what was causing. See, you shaved up. And then, if she said go this way, I would go the opposite way. It says go the opposite way of the grain. And it was by medical professionals that said that. Really? On YouTube? So, you see how she told you to go down. They told mm -hmm. you to go up. So, that could be what caused yeah. those um, ingrowns really bad. Like, really painful. So, girls, we know it's a lot of y'all that watches this in middle school going to high school and a lot of times even girls that Riley know have said like yeah we you know you get hair bumps it's probably because y'all not shaving in the right direction so maybe y'all need to get like an evaluation first to check because i'm telling you y'all we done been to urgent care for this we done been to the emergency for this they done had to drain uh any of my armpits y'all armpit i really don't have a lot of armpit hair i'm think i would think my armpit going. hair is like it's like a circle and it's so like like it's like that hair it's so like, like thin? coarse oh, like it's, it's coarse. so thick and i'm like bro what is wrong and it goes back so quick every time i nair it goes back so quick but i shave my armpits i don't nair now nah, i'm cool nair does not that's go why the there's bumps right here because i would shave upwards i would shave all types of direction i'd be like yeah that's probably what was causing that so she should have told me which way my armpit here grow because I don't know which way this it probably go the same direction. You think it go down? You think you should if you were shaving up and it was causing much, you probably should shave down then. Yeah, because I would shave upward. I'll be shaving like I'm putting on deodorant. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I see what you're saying. I'm I see what you're saying. Laser hair on your legs, that probably don't feel like nah. You don't think so? Yeah, legs don't hurt. No, I see that lady arms was so bald, bruh. Like her arms was slippery. Like if she put some oil in there, it's slipping and sliding. I said, now that's the type of bald you want to be. Not on your edges and not on your head. But when it comes to the rest of your body, it gave bald. It definitely gave bald. I'm I'm gonna try it. If you can do it, that don't mean that because your pain tolerance is higher than mine. But no, it's not. Brother, you was getting waxes, bruh, with no numbing, no nothing. You couldn't pay me to do it. You couldn't pay me to get a wax. <laughs> no. Not gonna do it. You might be able to pay me. No, you really can't pay me. Anyway, y'all. A billion dollars. What we about to do? I'm about to go get some gas. The booty supply store. The booty supply store. Oh, yeah. Girl, I need beauty to supply. wash my hair. Beauty supply store. Yo, oh, I job. told mama. I was like, mom, I gotta have my hair done for this performance. She's like, no, because then you're not gonna get your hair done on Sunday. I was like, ooh, wait a minute. So I told her this quick hairstyle, but it requires heat. But they, I don't always... know, they don't know what we're talking about, honey. Oh, that's fine. I still want to yap about it. She has her uh, eighth grade promotion ceremony, which, you know, she... I'm don't... graduating, y'all. I'm going to have the hat, and it's going to go like this, and we'll throw it up in the oh. air. Oh! I want to pay attention to this old lady. She was trying to get over. We yapping in the camera. But yeah, I told her this hairstyle is like two braids. Like, not braids, but it's like... It's basically two... It's eight braids, but they're in two. So, I got to get these nails off. It's not nothing going on. But I'm a, I told her I'm going to slick it and stuff because I know how to do it. I just can't braid. <laughs> and I, I can't with my pinkies because they hurt so bad. It's time for them to go. Anyways. It's time for all them to come off. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching our bliggity, bliggity, bliggity. We at Rachel. It's burning. Like, it's burning? Not burning too bad, but it, I, I can still feel it a little bit. Oh, and they she said um throughout the month, the hairs are going to like fall oh, out wow. and stuff. So, That's the type of hairs you want to fall out, not this fallout, but yeah. this fallout. Um, and you know, fall out with people. That's a little damn, damn. You don't see that. You don't see that. I'm gonna be look like Malik. I'm gonna be like, 
Malik has real dimples, like deep, deep dimples. I know his dimples go all the way in there. All the girls be want him because of his dimple. He's ugly. Nobody don't do him. him like that. Don't no, because he my, stay talking. Don't talk stuff. on my son like he that. He stay talking stuff. Like no, we don't talk on my child like that at all. All right, y'all. We'll hit y'all up later. Bye.